Modern day San Francisco. Its famous switchback streets provide clues to just how geologically active the area is. The hills here in San Francisco and around the San Francisco Bay remind us that the forces that caused them are the same as those that caused the 1906 earthquake. At the time, of course, people didn't understand that this beautiful topography was related to earthquakes. That would become very evident on April 18th, 1906. On the night of April the 17th, the famed tenor Enrico Caruso performs at the San Francisco Opera House. But in just a few hours, this proud city will be turned into a disaster zone. At 5 in the morning, things were pretty quiet. But suddenly at 5.12, the earthquake hit. An earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8 shakes the city. Roads rip apart and people panic. People realized it was an earthquake, but very few understood where the earthquake might be coming from and what might happen next. Buildings never designed to withstand earthquakes crumble. The city hall was the biggest building west of the Mississippi River. It took humans 25 years to build it. It took the earthquake two minutes to destroy it. It's not just the collapse of their homes the residents have to deal with. The tremors crack gas pipes. All it takes is one flame to ignite the fumes. In just a few hours, an inferno engulfs San Francisco. There were probably 50 fires that began in this part of San Francisco, and they eventually coalesced into a massive firestorm that consumed, on the first day, all of the central business district down along Market Street. Those flames then spread on the second and third day uh, to the west and north up to a fisherman's Wharf. But during those three days, uh, the city was almost completely destroyed by fire. After three days, the fires burned themselves out to leave a scene of utter annihilation. 80% of the city is in ruins. But it's what happens next that makes the 1906 earthquake one of the top 10 disasters. Three days after the 1906 earthquake, before the fires of San Francisco had stopped burning, George Pardee, the governor of California, appointed a special commission to study the earthquake and learn from what had happened. It falls to Professor Andrew Lawson and his team from Berkeley University to conduct the first comprehensive survey of an earthquake. The Lawson Report in two volumes represents a most incredible breakthrough in our understanding of how earthquakes work. At the time, people thought the fault line that runs near San Francisco was caused by the quake. But Lawson's report confirmed it was the other way around. And he named the culprit behind the 1906 disaster, the San Andreas Fault. It's a revelation that's helped geologists like Alan Lester to better understand the mechanics of earthquakes. The disastrous 1906 earthquake turned out to be a huge learning point for geologists regarding how big faults like the San Andreas move. Strike slip faults like the San Andreas have the capacity to build up huge amounts of strain and stress within the earth. It's, it, it's very much like taking a stick and pushing on it, building and building the deformation in the stick. And if that force, if that stress is released, it comes right back. It's elastic. But there is a point where if you push a little too hard, it breaks. That's exactly what happened in 1906. And with most of the major earthquakes that have occurred along the San Andreas, a point has been reached where the earth can no longer take the strain that's been building and it breaks. 
Thanks to the Lawson Report, we can now identify high-risk earthquake zones and engineer buildings to protect the people living in them. For Thomas Jordan, this ability to better cope with the dangers from earthquakes can be traced back to the birth of modern seismology. From my personal point of view, the 1906 earthquake is the most important earthquake because we learn for the first time important facts about how earthquakes occur. And with that knowledge, we hope to be able to avoid the kinds of destruction that San Francisco saw in that terrible day.